Happening tomorrow, we're expected to get an update on NASA's test trip to the moon and now the next big step to bring the Orion capsule home. Orion entered a very distant lunar orbit on Friday where it has been checking itself out. The Sixes Brian Didlake has more on where the $4 billion mission stands and what comes next. We just saw the Earth set behind the moon as we take the next human rated vehicle around the moon. It might have been the most memorable moment of the mission so far, with still more to come over the next two weeks. Monday, NASA is expected to hold a briefing to provide an update on the Orion spacecraft. It's set to reach the midpoint of its mission to the moon. We've largely com completed the outbound leg uh, towards the moon. We're going to have a uh, period of time circling about the moon in the distant retrograde orbit, and then we're going to have the return leg. Mike Serafin, Artemis 1's mission manager, explaining in this graphic what's next. Three routes highlighted. The green is the portion of the mission already completed, which got Artemis to the moon. The gray line representing where the mission is currently as it circles the moon. There, the space agency will conduct tests, take pictures, and take in key data. During the update Monday, officials are set to talk about the transition to the blue line which will return Artemis back to Earth and complete the mission. And that sets up the distant retrograde departure on December the 1st, followed by the return powered flyby on December the 5th. If this mission is successful, it will be the next step on taking astronauts back to the moon and then eventually to Mars. During its circle of the moon, NASA did share this deep space picture showing the moon and Earth, angles not seen in nearly 50 years. According to officials, the mission has also allowed of further testing on a deep space network. We're kind of uh, probing and, and seeing how far we can press those bandwidth limitations in. It turns out uh, prior to that, we were able to, uh, to, to be able to live stream. Officials so, uh, with the space uh, agency that, say that so far the, the mission has gone and is well. going well. Good performance across the board on all our subsystems and systems and uh, certainly really happy with the performance. In Orlando, Brian Ditlake getting results, News 6.